Hi, I'm David H. I manage my illness, diabetes with my EKG. The information I share is for informational purposes only and is not intended as health or medical advice. Please consult your physician regarding questions you may have about your health objectives. Okay, yeah, I decided to record my intro outside today as um, as I get ready to get off the couch to my get off the couch today is I'm still fooling around my son's car. <laughs> but you know why, right? Because I'm trying to make some extra money off this sale. <laughs> that he's not going to know about so don't say a word uh, okay what i wanted to mention today i guess we thought we things were getting back to normal but we're not i guess we're going through another pandemic this time the pandemic of the unvaccinated uh, i'm not going to talk about that but bottom line go get vaccinated because if we weren't if, if if everyone would have got vaccinated the first time we wouldn't be going through the second wave um, of a pandemic but anyway, that's not what um, I basically wanted to talk about today. Uh, I really want to talk about getting back uh, to normal. You know, um, what we knew normal was before um, COVID, um, as you probably heard me say on, on my uh, channel here before, things are never going to uh, go back to normal the way it once was. We Basically, we got a new normal coming out. And one of the things that has um, happened uh, corona has let the genie out of the bottle on this whole work-life balance thing. I remember in the 80s, um, you know, I've always been in a corporate employee since I graduated college, but in the 80s, that's when that whole work-life balance became very um, important. You know, that's when companies start using that, we need to achieve work-life balance. And really, what was the root of all of that really had to do with, because um, you know, you have women in the workforce now, um, pregnancies, what have you, so <laughs> I said pregnancy is what have you <laughs> but you have women getting pregnant and they're trying to um, have a career and basically uh, they were striving for balance um, uh, for that to, to be able to do both which um, they should and so that was a, um, I guess that was the driving force behind it and to make that apply to um, all genders um, what some companies started doing um, they started having these um, corporate teams you know we have a cor corporate softball team we have a corporate bowling alley I'm not going to lie, I'm a bowling alley. I said we start having a corporate bowling team. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie, yeah, I was part of um, those corporate teams. But if you really think about it, this is, this is work-life balance, right? So if you really think about it, now you want me to play with the people I work with. That don't sound like too much balance to me. Yeah, you got chance to um, bowl. I got chance to bowl uh, one night a week, what have you, but I am bowling with my workmates. So now, do you really think it was all fun and no work? You know, good and doggone well, we talked about work um, <laughs> while we was there. So, I saw you, Mr. Man. <laughs> Even though late, I saw what you did there. You're going to do this work-life balance. Oh, we have a corporate softball team. We have a corporate bowling team. Yeah, we still was talking about uh, during those times. But like I said, Rona has left the uh, Rona has let the genie out of the box. What work-life balance really is, because if you just think about it, um, since all of us have been quarantined, and I'm really talking to those of us that had corporate jobs, uh, working from home, what have you. Of course, the people that uh, was facing the public, um, they didn't have that um, opportunity to work from home, and uh, and my hat goes out, my hat goes off to them. Uh, for the job they have done during this time, but I was one of the fortunate fortunate ones. I had to. You know, I had the ability to um, work from home. And one of the things, think about just, if you just really think about it, what went away uh, right away, just I didn't have to think hard, was that commute. You know, I used to have a, um, a job whereas my commute was an hour and a half one way. So think about it, if I still had that job, I would have been saving, what, three hours in commute time. Now just think about what you can do with um, three hours. I can get more exercise in. Did you really thought I was going to get away from the EKG? <laughs> I can get more exercise in, and really, um, really, I can have real work-life um, balance. Uh, there, you know, if you have kids, what have you, now you have a chance to eat breakfast and lunch with your um, child, uh, with your um, kids, or with your spouse. Um, you can have breakfast and lunch together, uh, whereas in the 80s, you really couldn't, um, that really wasn't uh, what it was. Um, but now, um, since companies have adapted to people working at home that whole flexible schedule is really flexible um, if you need to uh, take an hour to 
run your child to the doctor's office, um, you can. Uh, what have you? Because now the if you work from home, flex uh, schedules are more flexible, and uh, corporations are more uh, understanding. Now dig this, as my one of as I heard a pastor say a couple of weeks ago, he he went back to the 80s. Dig this, product productivity for a lot of companies during this time increased. More people working from home and productivity went up. Do you really think we're going back <laughs> to that model? No. And not only did productivity go up, but their costs went down. Um, heating and cooling a building, uh, which also you see it happening. I think I read about Google, Twitter, one of them. They're actually selling some of the properties or breaking leases for some of the properties they was leasing because they, they no longer need it. They are telling their employees, um, you know, particularly the ones that was corporate employees, Hey, you can work from home uh, 24/7. Well, I'm not really 24/7, 365. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, so now, because they can do that, they don't need all the um, property that they have. Things have changed. We're not going back to exactly to where it was. Um, there is going to be a, a new normal. <laughs> hey, I'm just sitting here thinking. We might not never see the inside of a Chick Fil A lobby again, right? <laughs> Man, that is one fast food restaurant. Hey, they had this quarantine, this drive-by, curbside service. They had it on lock. And their app, their app was the bomb. <laughs> More companies need to follow their lead. And actually, Chick-fil-A uh, revenues went up during this time. It went up. <laughs> So no, we may not never see the lobby of a Chick-fil-A again. <laughs> like I said, uh, some things ain't going to change. And I had a pastor back in, uh, one of my pastors back in uh, Tampa. He used to always say, if you don't believe me, uh, go read it in the Bible yourself. So on this one, if you don't believe me, go uh, research it yourself. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a couple of links. One of the links is going to be about productivity of corporate employees during um, the period of uh, Corona. And the other one is going to be um, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well on to the next stop. I'm going to uh, work, work on my son's car again. All right, see you at the next stop. Okay, today uh, my get off the um, couch is going to be I'm going to clean the engine here. You know, I'm trying to sell the son's car and one last thing I need to do before I start putting pictures in social media. I was getting ready to say the newspaper, but I forgot you don't do that anymore. You don't do that anymore. You put it online. So anyway, I want to clean the engine. What I'm going to clean it with this tire foam. I've never have done this before. This would be new. But uh, what I've been told, or actually what I've seen on a couple of YouTube videos, that this is supposed to be the waterless way to do it. Normally, with the engine clean, I usually take it in and let someone do it. But again, I'm going to tell my son someone charged me $100 to clean the engine. <laughs> but I paid $5 for this. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see how this works. So, Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, here it is. Actually, it's not that bad. Is this a, um, a professional job? No, nowhere near. Could I have done better? Yes, for sure. But like I said, I'm selling it, so I just want to look decent when someone lift up the hood. They want it to be all cruddy and stuff. And I think this did the job. All right, on to the next step. Okay, I'm getting ready to fix something to eat. Hey, I forgot to mention, if you haven't subscribed to my blog, SavingMyFoot.com, don't forget to do that. Um, I have more information there. Um, I also put out, a, obviously, I put out a blog, right? <laughs> the links I mentioned about um, productivity and the links uh, with Chick-fil-A, they will be in my blog and not in the description. And you know why, that to get you to go to my blog. 
And once you get there, don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'm getting ready to uh, fix something to eat. What I'm going to fix is a margarita grill um, shrimp. Margarita grill shrimp. I'm also going to do a, um, a grilled peach since I'm firing up the grill. I'm going to do a grilled peach. Um, the grilled peach is a recipe my um, sister sent me. So, believe it or not, <laughs> the grilled peach it will be the only carbs in this um, meal. The grilled shrimp, um, it has um, zero carbs. But the grilled peach, it has roughly about 13 carbs in it. Um, it's something I calculated. Um, a whole peach is roughly 14 and two, two or three grams of fiber. Um, you're gonna use half of that, so that puts you at seven. And then it has a little honey on it, so that puts you six, so it's about 13. Yeah, so that's still not too bad for a meal, you know, um, 13, 14 carbs for a meal. That's not bad at all, right? All right, here I go. Okay, I finished. You know I said this dish probably has about 14, 15 carbs in it. There was about a half a teaspoon. <laughs> there was about a half a teaspoon um, of honey in it. So it has maybe a little bit more, but not much. But let me see here. Can you see it? Uh, all right. It looks real good. Let me try one of these scrimps. Oh, got a little kick to it. But actually, this is uh, pretty good. It really is. I'm gonna save my dessert for last. Actually, I've cooked this before, and this is real good. You know, like I said, this is a recipe my sister sent. But this is real good. I think maybe the peaches I have this time might be a little um, firmer, so maybe a little greener, so it may, may not be as sweet. But this is very good, too. But anyway, all in all, I'm happy with that. I would definitely um, try it again. Um, the miss is going to try it here in a minute, and um, we'll see if she likes it. <laughs> okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.